Hi, I'm Chris with Visual Sorcery, and in this tutorial we will talk about the panels in Lightforge. In Lightforge, the panels are your control surfaces for doing pretty much everything. Uh, and I'm just going to take a real short amount of time here and walk through what each one does. I'm not going to go real in-depth, and uh, I just want to give you a good overview of what everything does, where everything is, and help you to get uh, comfortable with the interface. So the first panel we'll talk about is the Groups panel. The Groups panel is your main workspace and you use it to select and edit fixtures and patch new fixtures and it's the main tool that you use to move through your lighting rig. Uh, the next thing that we'll talk about is the timeline and the timeline is down here. It's used uh, to create cues and adjust the timing and the flow of your cues as well as uh, to sync your lighting cues with audio. So when you're working with cues, it's your main area to work with. Uh, the next thing we'll look at is the show control panel, and that's this little panel down here. And what this does is it gives you your transport controls. So if you want to um, move to the previous cue, play backwards, play forward, uh, pause, go to the next cue, uh, if you want to add in audio track, add a new lighting cue, add uh, or update your cue, uh, delete your cue or audio, and disable or enable uh, crossfades on different attributes throughout the system. Uh, you can do it in the show control panel. The next panels that we'll talk about are your primary attribute panels, and those are these three panels right here. We have the uh, color picker and the color picker is used to select a color that you want uh, intelligent lights to go and uh, then we have the positioner the positioner is used to change the position of your lighting fixtures and then we have the intensity panel and the intensity panel is just used to control your intensity then we have the secondary attributes panel the secondary attributes panel is used to adjust everything out else about lights so whether they have strobe, prism, prism rotation, focus, uh, whatever, uh, this panel gives you the options to control that. Uh, the next thing that we will look at is the uh, cue editor, and that's this panel right here. So if I select a lighting cue, it's going to pull up all of the information that's contained in this cue. So it's just showing me right now that in that cue I set the color red to 99%, the color green to 13%, and the color blue to zero. So if I were to want to uh, make adjustments to this and tweak this cue, I could do so by adjusting these values here, and this will add in more blue to this, uh, this particular cue. I can add additional attributes with this. I can remove attributes. I can keyframe things. Um, it's a very powerful tool. Next thing we'll look at is the uh, show list panel, and that's this panel right here. And what this does is it allows you to move between multiple cue lists. So if I click this, it's going to fade to um, this empty cue list, and I could add in a whole separate show in this, or separate uh, my, if I was doing a concert, separate the concert out into um, individual songs, or whatever I want to do. So I'm going to go back to that original cue list. And we'll look at the rest of the panels here. Uh, this panel right here is your submaster panel. And you can use your submaster panel to uh, control multiple different groups. And uh, you can set different values to those groups, and it will adjust them proportionally. So if you look at the front light right here, I have each one of these set to a different value. And as I bring the submaster up and down, uh, it sets their value proportionally uh, based on what I have set there. Um, next thing that we'll look at is the effects menu, or the effects panel rather, and that's this panel up here, and the effects panel is used to create and select different effects to apply to your lighting rig. Uh, so if I want to apply an effect, say an intensity fade, I'll just click on this, and you'll see down in this panel here, which is my effect settings panel, uh, I just got a new effect. So I'm going to right click on this to enable it and then I'm going to turn on the influence and I'm going to turn up the rate. And as you can see uh, that effect is now playing. 
and I can adjust offset. So the effects settings panel gives you the ability to modify your cues or your effects and adjust the different parameters that they have. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Um, then this panel down here is our palette panel. And let me go ahead and turn these lights on. And if I want to apply a preset to um, this group, I can do so by pressing a button on the palette panel. And essentially what palettes are, are just reusable presets. So like this one tells all of my lights to go to a uh, position at the center of the stage. Uh, if I hit home on this, they'll all move to their home position. Uh, and palettes are a very, very valuable tool. Uh, one of the great things about palettes is if I set this up and then record a queue, the palette gets recorded into the queue, and then if I make changes to the palette, the, the queue gets updated as well, which is great for, um, say, you position all of your lights in a certain area to hit a certain person, and then for your show they decide to move the, the person five feet to the left and all your lights are hitting the wrong spot. Well, you just adjust your palette, all of your cues will get updated to uh, the new palette location, and all is good. Uh, I think oh, we're almost almost out of pal er, panels here. Uh, we'll talk about this one real quick. This is the audio player panel. And this is just a, a very simple audio player that allows you to pull in a, uh, an audio file and play it and have it not be synced with your... Um, your timeline. So if you're trying to write a show that doesn't have um, like audio that's supposed to sync with it but is still going to be played live, this is a great tool for that. Uh, the last panel is the DMX view panel. And as you can see, each one of these panels has these handles on it. Uh, and if I want to select a different panel, I can just click on the um, the circle handle and go to DMX view and what DMX view shows me is all of the DMX values that are being output out the lighting console um, and I have two universes right now so you can see I'm if I want to show you both of those I can do that uh, if I make changes to my lighting rig all of those get adjusted in this panel real time this is really handy for troubleshooting um, if you're having issues with uh, getting a light connected properly or just trying to figure out um, what's going on with your rig. You can also do channel check in this uh, which just basically allows you to turn a light on while you're clicking on it just to see what's on that channel and so all you do is click and release and there you go. Switch this back to the uh, cue editor um, and then I'll show you this uh, this handle here real quick. So if I click and drag on this, you see it is uh, darkening the top and bottom of this and what it's showing me is if I release it's going to have, it's going to divide that into two panels. Uh, if I want this to go back to the way it was, I can click on this uh, handle and then I can drag up with it and you see it highlighted red, that means it's going to be deleted and if I release it went away. Now if I drag on this and I uh, decide, oh, you know, I don't actually want to do anything, I can just move my mouse back to the handle and release and it does nothing. So that is panels and uh, we'll go in depth on each one of these um, in some other tutorials and explain what all of them do. But uh, that's what this one is and thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, post comments, send me an email and that would be great. Thanks.